Hi there. In this session, we're going to learn how to use interp ft to perform interpolation. Interp ft or interp using Fourier transform firstly transforms the original data from original domain, it can be time domain or space domain, to frequency domain, and then it interpolates the data in frequency domain. So we perform the interpolation in frequency domain and this will give us the interpolated frequency domain representation of the data and so we can use the inverse of Fourier transform to get the interpolated data in its original domain. And this is a very different way to do interpolation and it's very good for dealing with data sets which have a periodic pattern in them and so if you'd like to deal with some data points which will seem that they have some periodic behavior and pattern then interpft can be a good choice to perform interpolation okay let's do a simple example using matlab and firstly let's create an mtm file clc clear and close all let's define a function f which is a function of x and it returns sine of two times x times cosine of x and that's a periodic function and let's define x minimum as the minimum and lower bound of the x variable and x maximum which can be for example 4 times pi and let's define x as a linear space of x min and x max and for example 30 points will be enough for this step and let's define y as f of x and if you create a figure and plot the result here plot y versus x using r colored o markers and let's save the program and run it and that's the periodic pattern data and if we perform other interpolation methods the result will not so promising but using interpft will reveal the periodic behavior behind this data okay let's perform the interpolation calling interpft interpft just accepts this data that's the dependent variable and so interp ft of y how many data points we'd like to get as interpolated series for example 100 defined by a variable n and the result is the interpolated y and if you plot the y y that's it it's almost done however we don't have any independent variable xx to plot the true result here and so we must define it let's define xx as linear space from x min to x max and n points and if you hold the plot and plot the xx and yy as blue colored plot and line width equal to 1.5 that will be this plot and we have some errors here and that's due to the mismatching of the outputs we'd like to get and we must define xx in this way and let's calculate some dxx difference of a consecutive elements of xx as this dx times and what's the dx can be the difference between two of two consecutive elements of this vector so let's define it dx equals to x2 minus x1 and dx times the number of elements here we have num elx divided by this count and 
if you run the program the xx will be this value however the xx2 minus xx1 is a different value so we must define the, the, the xx as this and xx is defined x minimum with value of dxx to x maximum and if you define xx in this way the result of this will have a length less than this n and if you call this we will get an error because of the mismatch between the sizes of these two vectors and if you get the number of elements of xx that will be 97 but yy is 100 so we must truncate yy and remove some elements from end so that will be one two number of elements of x and so if we plot this we'll get a better results of data and if we increase this amount for example to contain 300 points that will be a very good interpolation frequency domain based interpolation of the data and let's clean this messy code and convert it to a handy function to perform these calculations in the function so let's define a function and let's define it as my interp ft which receives x y and then returns some data points of length of n as a result and we can calculate these values here and we need some dx here as x2 minus x1 and remember that x should be samples in a range and they are distributed with equal spaces so the dx must be equal for all samples and we just use two first elements of x to calculate the dx and that's xx the the independent variable and that's performing the yy here and here we truncate the output and we can return xx and yy as our output values and that's it let's save this and let's remove this extra line and let's create a functional version of this uh, which accepts sorry we have not xmin here and we can use x1 and x the end final value of x here and we can remove definition of dx here and we can get xx and yy as my enter ft of x and y and n points and n is 300 points 10 times more points compared to our original data which contains 30 points and let's run this program and we get this result and that's it we converted this code to a function plus this code and you can use my interp ft or enhance it to perform interpolation in frequency domain using frequency domain data it's if if i like to be exact and that's it we finished and we learned that how we can use interpreting to perform interpolation